Hi, my name is John Lindsay. It's interesting to to hear the hear the figures, but there are also people that live behind those figures and that are suffering behind behind those numbers. We hope that one day there will be no need, but uh, as of today, I think there is, is definitely a need. I think that the cycle continues. Um, I think that it, there's even a stronger need for men to raise our collective voices about um, domestic violence and how do we eradicate the violence that are going on in our homes. Uh, I think it starts at home. I think it starts with, um, for men who have witnessed uh, domestic violence or who have actually experienced domestic violence, it's time that we uh, stand up and say, you know, I think I'm going to do something differently. I'm going to make a change. I'm going to respond differently. Uh, oftentimes when we were presented with triggers that might spark domestic violence, we have to take a conscious effort to say, you know what, I'm going to act a little bit differently this time. I'm going to figure out how can I effectively respond to this with, without violence or without harming someone verbally or physically. For a long time, uh, and I don't know if this is culture or not, but it was, you know, what happens in the home stays in the home. And I think it is time that we um, break that train of thought or, 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 or dispel that notion that it may start in the home, um, but it should not remain in the home. You know, we really have to, as men, step up and say, A, I'm not going to allow it in my home, and then B, I'm not going to perpetrate violence against uh, members of my family. And if so, I need to get help. You know, I need to take it outside of my home and take it to, you know, someplace like the center that can help and say, you know, these are some of the issues that, that, I'm, that I'm facing. These are some of my triggers that often lead me to, uh, to be abusive.